Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and today we are going to be making a blog display grid using the Elementor free version. Now, I know you might realize that the Elementor free version doesn't give you any blog grid. I'm going to show you how to work around that and put your um, blog display on your website using the Elementor free version. Let's get into it. So, we're going to need a plugin, premium add-ons for Elementor. So this will give you additional elements and those elements work with the free version of Elementor. So um, go ahead, search for that, premium add-ons for Elementor, install, click activate. Then let's make a blank page and go into Elementor. So here we go. We've got our blank page. Now, once you've installed those premium add-ons, you're going to get all these new elements in your Elementor menu. So the one we're looking at is premium blog. So this is something you don't get in the free version of Elementor, but just by adding a free plugin, you can add in your blog grid. So um, by default, you've got this fairly long excerpt, um, three column grid layout. Let's, let's get that a bit more um, attractive in terms of its layout. So let's go to display options. And we want, you can choose a grid layout, yes. And we want layout, you can choose a masonry or an even grid, let's have an even grid. The number of columns, it's probably gonna look better with two columns in this case. And let's get rid of some of this other stuff. So this is way too big, this heading. We can change the title HTML tag from a H2 heading to a, let's make it a H4 heading. So that looks a bit more simple. Um, let's look at the post options. We've got all these different meta tags that we can add or remove. I like to remove most of these author, date, categories, comments, tags, um, post format icon, all of those things. That's nice and clean now. Um, the excerpt is a little bit long at 55. We can make it 25 and that makes the number of words displayed a lot less. Um, that's not too bad. We've only got three posts. We can increase that. Uh, let's look. I think it's in advanced settings. Yeah, post per page. Let's make it six. Um, there we go. If you wanted to filter by tag, you could just have posts about, maybe posts about photography or shopping or whatever you're using as your post tags. You can um, just display a limited amount of posts with that. Um, uh, pagination, that's a really nice thing. You could, if you've got more than six posts, you could let the user click to the second page and uh, view more posts. So we've displayed six, but you can go and look at the rest of them by clicking next. So, I mean, that's looking pretty good. There's lots of other things you can do on this um, premium blog plugin, but in just a few minutes, I was able to set up a nice um, blog display. So let's go back to our page and have a look what that actually looks like. So where were we? Here we are. And this is the page we just made with our post grid. Um, you can see it's got this little animation when you hover, um, zooms in. We can actually change that animation if we want. Um, let's go back to our post grid and hover effect. We've got zoom in. We can have um, all these different effects, blur, so it blurs when you go over it. You could have, I really like um, bright. That's a pretty nice effect. So let's hit apply. And update. Now let's have a look at our page again. Let's reload. So there we go. It has a bright overlay when you go over the mouse. And you can click next and go on to the next page of posts. So. You can display all your posts using this method. Um, you don't need the pro version. You can do all this with a free version plus that premium add-ons plugin. So that's all there is to it. If that was useful, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or you'd like me to cover something else. I'm happy to help. Um, thank you and I'll see you next time.